good day and welcome to my youtube channel today's tutorial is about how to make 3d applique panel if this is what you would like to learn please stay tuned and watch till the end thank you good day beautiful people welcome to my youtube channel if you're a kind subscriber welcome back and if you are new to this channel please do it by subscribing and don't forget to like and also share so that can benefit from it today's story is about how to um turn your it's about how to make 3d applique with your plain fabric how to make 3d applique with your plain fabric this are the material we'll be using your fabric the gun gum your trimmings or cup chain your fabric glue marker copper wire paper scissors and ruler so let's get started we have to do is to get our design you can design any shape you want get our design design any shape you want i'm folding my paper in fifty so as to have equal shape and design Depend on what you're working with. Four by seven. seven. Mind you, the paper is on fold. So when you open up, as you have eight by seven. So let me reduce it. I try to do three. Let's do three by seven. Three by seven. I have this shape. The next thing is for me to call here. And also, I also want to do something smaller, the same shape, but smaller. Remember, we did three by seven, so this one inch by four. So when we open up, we have two by four, one inch. Thank 
gonna turn this part. So I decided to do three layers of this one, too. so I'll be doing the third one, which will be bigger than this. This will be seven by three. So the next one I will use. Use two by five. Two by five. So this is two. Two by five. Two by five. So this is what we have. We have three layers. We also have this. So I'll be cutting. I'll be next thing for since I have this. The next thing is for me to, to get my fabric. Then use my is for me to get my hemming gum and place it this way Place it this way on it. Then iron. After placing, cutting my hemming gum, get your gum stay. Place on it. Then iron. So I'll go and do that now. So after placing the hemming gum, go ahead and get your gum stay and place on the fabric. Ensure that the shining part of the gum stay is where you place on your fabric. This way. This is me trying to make the fabric stronger because the fabric is very light. Then you make sure you wet, wet the ending gum before you place your iron. If you make it gum very well. So the next thing is for me to cut out my shapes. I'll go ahead and fold. I'm going to check the size. I fold into four. So it's still the edges of the fabric you can see. I don't have any fabric pulling out because of the hemming gum. But you can decide to use your sodium iron or use your lighter later on to just burn these edges if you have anyone pulling out 
but with this i don't have any air that's pulling out and the next thing is for us to get our copper wire get your copper wire and measure the length of what you will need so I'll put this place Give at least half inch, give half inch from this bottom line. Make sure the copper wire is straight. So it's all I need. Wire down. So you go ahead and cut your wire for everything. Done for some. I'm using my gun. The next thing is to take your gun gun. Make sure your iron is straight. Make your eyes straight as and do the same thing for the smaller one. And so after the gumming of the iron, this is what I have. The next thing is for me to gum this together. Iron this together. For me to do that, I have to cut my aiming gum and place it round. Mind you, while doing this process, you have to double the aiming gun edge. Put your aiming gun at the edge. And you can go ahead and make the center one single. So the next thing is, you place this this way as the cover. Then, iron. I iron it and show you cover your design with a piece. Look for a piece of fabric and cover them. Make sure you wet wet your design or if you have a steam iron, steam it properly and iron. So I'll go ahead and do that on my 
I'll go ahead and do that on my table. I'll do for the rest of the design. Then bring it back. So, after I do this is what we have. trimming to me. I'll go ahead and design it to sit quickly this way. Now using my glue. I'll use my glue for this process. Let me use the corn gum. I don't want to stick your mess. for me to put my I mean um, put my fabric gum around so that's a dry So I repeat the same process for the remaining one. I use the cup chain for the smaller ones. So the next thing is for us to attach to our ready-made dress. That's kind of design. I use the cup chain for the smaller ones. I use the trimmings for this. I have talked this with my needle and thread. I'll go ahead and place the remaining ones. My gun gun. Because this is a bit stronger, the applique is strong. The needle and thread to pass through is kind of difficult. Just
I'm gonna bring this here. Yeah. with our beautiful design so if you have any rough edges you can decide to cover them create your own to uh, two d design create two d design i didn't cover this with anything you cover with your um trim is or applique make sure you use a tiny one then you can you know, just close this part. You get close this last part. And you can decide to put um, stones, design them with stones, or and you can decide, design them with rhinestones. So that's all about our design. I hope you find this helpful. So Decide to bend, you can bend it anyhow. Anyhow you want. That's the essence of the eye. Bend it forward, bend it. You can bend it. Bend it. That's the essence of your copper wire. So, I hope you find this very, very helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.